Okay. Alright, so... A lot of things here. Look. First thing, that. We just get a character f a 5 star for free. A quest to kindle ancient flames. Uh, do you hear that? Listen, those are the thunderous horns of battle resounding through the mountain passes. Rally friends, old and new, for a nation of war and pyro is calling. You, your hour has come, so go and win the honor that is rightly yours. Okay, um, why those characters? Mm. Oh, nice, they tell what constellation I have them already. Uh, I only have one mana. I thought I had another day. Uh, five issues. Wow! It took me a while to get a Kishin. And I have five already. Well. Let's see. Mm, he looks pretty good, but I haven't been using him recently. And don't need her. So. Yeah, they're kind of the same thing here. With the uh, animal, pyro, cryo, I What? Where is a geo? Why isn't there a geo here? Uh, which one do I get? Uh, here. Let's see what they're getting. Pyro. Mm, yeah, they're giving five stars, so it could, wouldn't be one of those. Um, okay. Yeah. No. Hydro. Yeah, it could be one of those. He's kind of overpowered for them to just leave it there. Uh, and the Archons probably wouldn't be as well. So, okay, so Mona is a sound. Okay, she's a Archon, so it would be down to one of those. Uh, Electro. Another hot Archon, one of those. She's kind of too new. Ah, they're getting the. Uh, do you look? Uh, ah, are they getting the oldest ones? Yeah, the oldest ones, and he's an Archon. Ah, okay, so they're getting the oldest ones. Yeah, that's why Chi Chi. I guess we have her before Ganyu. I would prefer a Ganyu, but I probably wouldn't get her anyway. Geo moves. Ah, I don't have to. Why? Why don't you have an Obedo there? Mm. Okay, from those options, I guess the one I use the most is Tainari. She's pretty useful. Yeah, okay, I don't get it. Why she's here? She's another claimer pyro like Diluc. And she's kind of new. All the others are the first five stars you could get of each uh, element. Why don't you have Albedo here? Yeah, I'll get a Tainari. Uh, yeah, okay. Good. Alright, so that's... One thing here done. Now, what? That? 17 days. Mm, so I should probably recommend the quests. The Archon quest, I should start. Mm. Will not affect the event game playing rewards. Yeah, but it will affect the story. Mm, not completing the recommended quest may result in errors or characters being occupied. Many new characters earlier, early. Yeah, shouldn't they like wait 
a week at least before launching this event. I get it, there's 17 days, but even so. Mm. Okay, this permanent, so no hurry. That's just there. That's. Uh. Ah, if we do that soon. I'll do, but. Okay, cool. Extra primos. And this is permanent as well, right? Where this spring returns. I'm not sure if it's a world quest or. Ah, oh, no, no, no. There's It's event. Post reward for. Ah, for completing within the time limit. Uh, okay, that's a tighter. What's the progress quest? Okay. So I'll probably start their conquest and then pause to do that. Then I'll continue. The. Yeah. Just the actual one for that. It's just exploring. And a new boss. Alright, but firstly, there's that thing here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if there are new chests there, I better raise my work level to face greater challenges, whatever, but earn richer rewards from chests. Right? So, okay. Mm. Let's check that one first. Mm. Why is it always? It's it's always here, isn't it? There are some other domains that aren't used anymore. Why not always be one of those? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, hang on, I... Hmm... You're really suggesting those? Um, okay, that, that's not bad. Quick setup, uh, remove those two and add those two. The pleasure is all mine. Oh, hang on, there was a pyro there, wasn't it? Yeah, but I kind of want John Lee in my party. Hmm. I never really need stuff here, do I? Uh, okay, start track in B. Uh, oh no, it's not important. Okay, I thought I had to get the order of something. But maybe not. Oh. Ah. Very scratched. Oh. Gather. Settle down. We'll be able to raise them to level a hundred now. Solidify. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. The tides beckon. Yeah. Huh. Bow your head. Yeah. This is order. Gather. This could get a little chilly. Huh. Let's begin. Yeah. Yeah. Gather. Skyward. Mama. 
silence. Be oh, I don't have a mind. Hmm. Bow your head. Hmm. Solidify. So long that I was in world level, I don't remember it was a longer dungeon or just one main stage. Silence. Have a secret. I will have order. Gather. Let the mighty be humble. Settle down. Make way for the solidify. Away now. Bow your head. All right. Okay. It's just one challenge. All right. Nine. But if you ever race again, then it'd be nice to be around uh, level 10 forward level. But then the enemies won't be level 100 anymore. Uh, and can they be race more now? No. Wait, wait, we get. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the Tainari stuff. Activate. Mm, charge Creech. Oh, okay. Uh, his charge is what we usually use anyway. Uh, quick setup. Change, change. Her. And her. Actually, I should sure place them right. She's my main DPS. An insurmountable problem, I presume? Yeah, I'll keep confusing because that's not how I usually handle them. So... That one first. Uh, uh, okay. Very true. Ah, uh, there. But that description doesn't give us much to go off of. We haven't met anyone from that one either. Yeah. Exactly! Even when Inazuma was completely closed off, we still managed to run into people from there and other nations. Huh. Could it be? That there are no humans in Natland? Yes, yes! That look of surprise and excitement is perfect! Hold it right there. Now look at the camera and big smiles on three. Ready? Okay, mm. just make sure you get Paimon's good side. We started. Wait, hang on a minute. Her. What's with the photo shoot, Charlotte? Well, I heard you two were about to leave for the next part of your journey. After everything you did for Fontaine, the Steambird simply had to follow up on a scoop like that. Oh, 
I have a feeling we're going to be short on material once you're gone. Oh, so you knew we were leaving. We don't need a big send-off, that's not really our thing. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not your style, but we got to thinking. And, well, a little change never hurt anyone, right? Uh, we? <sighs> All those obstacles we overcame side by side. Oh, feels like it was just yesterday. Don't be a stranger now, partner. If you encounter any troubles along your journey, you need only let us know, no matter the distance between us. Partings are inevitable, of course. But distance makes the heart grow fonder, right? One thing we'll never change, though. We'll always have the memories we made together during this time. Whoa, you're all here! I'm sure we'll meet again. Let me know next time a festival rolls around. Already thinking about taking time off? Any excuse for a party, huh? But yes, you can count on us. <laughs> we wouldn't let you miss out on all the fun. Well, in light of your impending departure, shall we take a photo together? Ooh, great idea. We even have a professional photographer with us. Charlotte, would you do us the honor? Leave it to me. Now just give me a moment to set the camera up. Okay, I thought she wouldn't be in the picture. Oh, by the way, you're overthinking the whole Natlan issue, Paimon. Natlan has human inhabitants and its own unique culture, just like Fontaine. It's just that, because of their local customs, the native people choose not to leave. They're not unwelcoming to outsiders, though. People travel there for business and leisure alike, and usually return with nothing but good things to say. Many members of the Spina have visited in the past, too. Well, that's a relief. Hopefully we don't get swept up in any major drama this time. I'll speak to you soon. Hope you didn't just jinx this. Yeah, but that will happen anyway. Well, given your experience and skill in that regard, I have no doubt you'll be able to overcome anything that comes your way. Still, I hope you can avoid danger this time around. An uneventful trip might be a nice change of pace. All right, I'm ready. Shall we? Well then, traveler. Bon voyage! Oh, everybody's here. Burn. Safe travels, traveler. You're welcome back anytime. If you let us know in advance, we could arrange even more people to greet you when you return. That would be quite the lively affair. Okay, Novelette's kind of busy, but shouldn't Lini and Lynette come here? I heard there's a place in Natland that produces precious stones. Next time there's a lull in my work, I gotta go pay it a visit. One picture to publish, and one to keep for myself. Perfect. Okay, so this was just kind of pointless because now I have to cross the whole desert. I can just teleport there already. Uh, yeah, I don't want to walk there. Let's just teleport to where the game wants me to teleport to. But I don't know, this way it seems like it would be more pressure for them to go to Nathan than go to Fontaine. Actually, the way the maps now, I think it would be more practical to go to Fontaine through Liyue and then check Sumeru. Wow! So this is Natlan! Mm -hmm. So many strange mountains and so many animals Paimon has huh? never seen before! Uh... Huh. Doesn't look like there are any cities around here, though. Where should we start? Let's try heading this way. I see signs of human habitation. Good idea! Finding people means we can learn information about the local Archon! 
And once we've met the Archon, we should have a better idea of what to expect during our journey. If experience is anything to go by, that should be the case. Archons have the deepest connection to their respective nations. Mm. No, they have things to do with the culture, but not really a connection with the Well, with the nation, hopes this one people. is easy to get along the with. Third. As long as we don't get on their bad side, we should be fine. Come on, let's keep following the road. Flowers of the base, resplendent paint of the sun. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, that was the thing. Uh, okay. Well, where's the statue? Ah, okay, just up ahead. Oh, should I have touched that? Where is this place? And where are so many wrist counts? Be careful! Oh! Oh, it's almost dying already! Stabilize! Transfixed! Extract! No, stop fighting! You're almost dead! Oh, you're fighting! That was enough! Oh. Hey, big guy, you okay? Can you stand? I. Why was there a side track right there? At the <laughs> beginning of the road? Oh no, he looks really weak. Uh, seriously, those floaty ghostly dogs are always up to no good. In fact, make that all things floaty. You're fairly floaty, as floaty things go. That was nothing like those guys. Anyway, forget that now. Let's see if we can get this guy something to eat. And then we'll let it rest for a while. You'll be feeling better soon, but I'm sure of it. It's too late. He's been holding out for far too long. No. I'm breathing. Oh no, it must be so much pain. Defeated your foes. You can rest now, big guy. You did good. Breathing is... There's something else that's on your mind? Is there something else you'd like to tell me? Stretch out your hand, chosen of dragons, huh? Try and strength and then witness all and thus liberate all. What's going on? It's no time to out. It's nothing, just a bit of daze. Is that your desire or... Reach out to the dying beast. What are you doing? Uh, okay, so this is just a new skill for me to use in that one. Or maybe something like the... What? What? Enos? Oh! You seem to be getting energized out of certain way, dude. Is that you? Your sight is body. I don't make a strange dream. Just rest with the little guy first. Where am I? Sir, it's got its heart and its main attack is in its back. Right there, little guy. Oh. 
Oh, what's wrong? That looks so good. Ah, is it your tail? Did you injure it when you fell from the barrier? Or if only you could bandage it. <coughs> hmm, it's time one time shine. Your backpack's so full that even when it's an emergency, it still takes all day to find anything. Let us use this scarf from Paimon's emergency backpack instead. She has one backpack as well. I have no clue where that backpack of yours is. It's even supposed to be. Where's my backpack supposed to be? Yeah. <laughs> somewhere secret. Somewhere safe, of course. Anyway, do you wanna use this scarf or not? We'll use it. Thank you kindly, Paimon. Um, Alright, little guy, don't move. Mm, our little guys sure is well behaved, huh? Huh. That should do the trick. Yeah, but that wouldn't really make it stop hurting right now or not. Alright, feel better now. Hmm. Uh, it looks way better now. That's a relief. Still. How do you end up in that barrier? In those rift hounds? Mm. Mm. So you don't know either? No, we don't really get what you're saying, but now that we've rescued you, you can go home. Mm. Wait, do you not know where your home is? What about relatives then? Oh wait, that big guy from earlier. What do we do? We can just leave it here by itself, right? Hmm. And better if you stay with us for a while. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe we'll find this little guy's family when we reach Natlan. But we've never seen anything like it. Uh, chosen of dragons. Could that mean? Okay, when we reach Natlan and stuff, so shouldn't this be kind of part of the main quest? And they be speaking. With voiceovers. You then mean you mean you heard something like that? Now the final thing about it, it's not only the nation of dragons, so does that mean wait they call little guys like these Saurians around here, right? Well being Saurians does that mean they are related to the dragon dragons? A dragon like Novelet, who they call a Saurian too? Uh, how do you think of it? Paimon does seem more resemblance to bishops, you know? To legs and tails and all. Mm -hmm. uh, we're happy to have you travel with us. Uh, but we should ask our friend here if that's what he wants to do first. True, true. Hey there, guy. Would you like to travel with us? Looks like we are all breathing. then. Anyway, Paimon's Paimon, he's Anus. Or... Oh yeah, you need a name too, let Paimon think. Right. Since you're yellow and brown all over, let's call you Ash Brown. Hmm. I expect that they will only do go down well a good hunter. Hmm, looks like he doesn't like the name. Hmm. Okay, would you like him to give a name then? Well, not that Paimon can vouch for his naming sense though. All names come up so far have been perfectly normal, I'll have to know. Did I come up with any other... Oh, I did choose... Did I choose the name for the uh, fungi? Poor little thing, to serve such a calamitous fate. So I should call this little guy. Mm. Okay, uh, you can obtain an, the item Reaffirm Accord of Appellation from Lost in the Woods, which will allow you to change little one's name. Uh, please take note that some names can be utilized in this change once you have renamed this character. Some interface in the games going forward will display the name they have chosen. There is a limited number of times you can rename this character, so do so with care. Disclaimer, try to be sure for all terrors, okay? Don't swear, basically. Okay. 
Oh, I can actually type the name here. Okay. Like I did this Kazamai. Oh, I was expecting for that. Oh. Mm. Kinda has a turtle face. Um, it kind of looks a bit like a Tyranitar. Mm, 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 mm. Damage. Oh no. What do I get for its name now? Okay, my the Pokemon I most played with was Gold, and the one I always got to was Totodile. So. Turtle dial. Mm, that's not a great name. Turtle dial. Mm. Yeah, if I think of something better, I always paint that I tend to change its name. For now, it's turtle dial. Then let's call this little fella Turtle Dive, shall we? Yeah, it's from one of the worlds the Traveler has gone to. Uh, let's go with that. Let me think about this some more. No, yeah, I don't want to spend so much time here now. Alright. Turtle Dive, that'll be your name from now on, little guy. Turtle Dive. Okay, Turtle Dive. Looks like our little friend loves his name. Well, with any luck, we'll solve. Um, maybe she say hash brown so we have a go-to name if we can't think of anything. Yeah. With any luck, we'll solve the mystery that surrounds you while we're in Aitland. And maybe we'll get some clues as to why Inus was able to suddenly enter that Sargon's body. Uh, yeah, are you okay, by the way? You suddenly turned into a Sargon back there. Are you feeling uncomfortable anyway? Just a little Sargon sick. Coming a Sargon was a bit... For a bit was alright. Sorry, sick. What's that even supposed to mean? The, this isn't time for jokes. But still, in Spymos never heard the, of anyone not who can turn into Sarium. It's, it's kind of weird. Seriously, we only just got here. And it feels like so much has already happened. Anyway, how do we get out of here? Uh, yeah, the way we got in. Uh, you know where the exit is. <clears throat> but wait, follow us around. Don't just suddenly go running up like that. Hmm. The chain Flogstone. Destroying or collecting objects that contain to create Flogstone particles, which can be served to restore your Flogstone. Uh, in addition, there seems to be object continues to replenish flugstone levels. Which is uh flugstone. The special high temperature thermal energy can be found throughout Nathan and all shapes and sizes. There are many ways to obtain flugstone and some devices can only be triggered by activate and activated by the injection of flugstone. Mm, sorry, in dwelling uh, so the guidance of mysterious power, you can now indwell your spirit onto natural sorians. Different sorians have different skills and special traits. Use their powers to get around natal and explore it. When you are in an indwelled state, you will prioritize using up the sorian floodstone before using up your own reserves. Uh, natal sorians are unique life forms that can enter a spiritual Spirits cause state to other specific circumstances. 
indwell your spirit in spirit causes uh, to activate their power to turn me into and controlling the sun's original form. Mm, after uh, Tepetli Sauri. Tepetli Sauri. After Tepetli Saurus drills into the ground, you can consume Flugstone to move in all directions. Ah, that was the thing. Even digging up, digging up cliffs, uh, jumping while in this underground drilling stage will trigger a short, uh, high-speed leap forward. Tap, uh, tap, let. That Petlisaurus, that Petlisaurus can climb solid flagstone that cannot be climbed through ordinary means. Uh, its sharp claws can also be used to slice through obstacles with ease. Oh, cool. So, yeah, those are the Arnar powers from Donato. Oh, no. Can talk to you first. Yeah, that was very informative. We're back. Strange. The shining pillars from far gone. Well, that was famous all along. Just like when we first met the entire scarf around his tail, now give him a new name. Uh, ah, okay. After giving a new name, it cannot be changed again. Yeah, I don't want to spend that item, just like I don't want to spend that, but I'm okay with Kazamai. So... Uh, let me... no, that's here. Uh, pick better rough peasants. Uh, okay, and then I can use the from here. Yeah, but I kind of want uh, open the map up, and then oh, they look cool. Okay, they look much cooler than expected. They are what I think they are, right? Yeah, powerful, powerful. Okay. Whoa! Check out those colorful pictures on the walls. We've got to be on the right track. Oh, oh. I thought maybe I skipped that. A lot of many echoes added to the archive. I'm sorry, Kachina. I know it's not right for us to go back on our word like this, but Kempoa and I have to do well during this pilgrimage. You can't seem to find other people to join our team, and we don't have time to sit around and wait. But, but if you two leave, I'll be the only one left. We really are sorry, but you still have plenty of chances. You're young, and you bear an ancient name on top of that. We're just ordinary tribal warriors with years of battle under our belt and no glory to show for it. Not to mention the physical toll of all that fighting. We're no longer in our prime. Uh, we barely had a chance last time, remember? We can't expect a better result with even fewer people. Pilgrimage registration closes tonight. This is our last chance to switch teams. Guess it is 
is what it is. I just wish I was stronger. I'm nothing compared to the other ancient name bearers. But never mind. Guess this is just par for the course as Uthabiti, huh? I'm sure I'll figure something out. Well, if we do well this time, there is still a spot for you at the victory feast. Yeah, even though we're not participating in the competition together, we're still friends, aren't we? Of course. Anyway, you guys should get going before it's too late. Go form a really strong team, okay? Then we'll make team with her. <sighs> Guess I'll have to wait until the next pilgrimage. Looks like that little girl over there was just abandoned. Wonder what happened. Oh, she looks so sad too. Let's go check on her. She like a bear? Oh gosh, um, I'm fine. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Wait, I haven't seen you around the tribe before. Are you travelers? Yep, we just got to that land. Oh, welcome, welcome. I'm Kachina, Utapiti Kachina. The resilience. Okay, Utapiti means resilience. That it. Call an ancient name. It's a tradition we have here in Natlin, although it's kind of complicated to explain. You can think of it like a title for now. If you're here for the pilgrimage of the return of the sacred flame, you'll find out what they mean soon enough. So, this pilgrimage, is that what you were discussing earlier? Oh, yeah! It's a competition we hold every so often, where everyone competes to try and get the highest ranking. The competition receives tons of attention, so if you place highly, you're guaranteed instant acclaim, and you earn the right to take part in the Night Warden Wars. Basically, the winners become heroes, and that's pretty much everyone's goal around here. Sounds like a massive fighting tournament or something. Do you have to be in a team to participate? Well, due to the sheer number of participants, the pilgrimage is actually divided into two phases. Phase one is a team competition. Usually an ancient name bearer serves as the team captain and leads their team in various battles around that one with the goal of capturing sacred flame. Oh, and an ancient name bearer is just someone with one of those titles I mentioned earlier. Someone like me. Once the team competition is over, the participants from the winning teams qualify to take part in individual one-on-one -on -one matches. Sounds like some kind of national game. Yeah, the skill seems pretty huge. Wait a minute. If ancient name bearers lead the teams, that means you must be a team captain. Sure am. Although... I don't exactly have any team members anymore. <laughs> the key to winning is in the strength of the team captain. That's what everyone says, but uh... The difference in strength between bearers can practically be night and day. So, their decision does make sense. I'd feel the same way if I were in their shoes. What's your plan now? All ancient name bearers have to take part. It's our duty. So if no one wants to be on my team, then I'll just go it alone. At worst, I'm looking at a few extra scrapes and scratches. I'm not great at fighting, but I always manage to get back on my feet in no time. Yes, vision. Traveler. Based on the direction of this conversation, Paimon thinks it might be time for us to do our thing. And there is you, Paimon. Looks like it's time that time already. Yep, yep. Time for the next phase. To start for real. Um, what are you guys talking about? Can we join your team? Uh, uh, hmm. uh, sorry, didn't mean to freak out on you. I just, uh, how should I put this? I really appreciate the offer. That's so unbelievably generous of you. But only people from that one are allowed to take part in the pilgrimage. Hmm. Oh, Paimon thought we could just join your team.
team and fight our way to the top and then become heroes. Like we usually do. It's alright. Really. I... I mean... No one's ever offered to join my team before. Really? We're all usually on good terms, but... Whenever pilgrimage registration rolls around, it feels like everyone starts avoiding me. They don't make eye contact or bring up the pilgrimage. It's like they're afraid I'll ask them to join my team. I probably don't even need to explain the reason. I'm too weak. It's pretty obvious there's nothing to gain from being on my team. That really doesn't matter to you? Oh, don't you worry. The Traveler's strong enough for the three of us. Gods, dragons, giant narwhals. He can give them all a run for their mora. Oh, I get it. You are able to overlook my lack of strength because you're confident in your own skills. I wasn't actually thinking about any of that. You were at the spot that I wanted to help. That's right. We always try to help people out during our travels. That's what makes a true adventurer. A true adventurer. You guys are really special. You know you're strong, but you don't take yourselves too seriously. That's exactly the kind of person I want to become. You're planning on staying in that land for a little while, right? Mind if I try to learn from you while you're here? Learn from us? Yeah, you know, like a disciple or a sidekick. You don't even have to teach me anything. I'll just observe. I promise I won't be in the way. Besides, I can take you to see the sights and introduce you to Natlin in the meantime. What do you think, Traveler? Seems like she really looks up to you. It seems like I just... I'll get her already. Is this part of the other quest that kind of had a prerequisite? That's fine with us, but what about your competition? Oh, right! Didn't those people from earlier say the registration period was about to end? You don't need to focus on finding new teammates? Don't worry about it. I wouldn't be able to manage it this close to the deadline anyway. I lose all the time. I'm used to it. Everyone around me is used to it. So it's fine. No one expects anything out of me. But if I manage to learn a thing or two from you, I might just pull off a win next time. Alright. No set your explanations too high. We're just ordinary people. Oh, of course, of course. I'm just glad you agreed. Well, come with me, you two. I'll show you where I grew up and introduce you to our tribe, the Children of Echoes. Hello, yeah. I'm Kachina, a member of the Children of Echoes. I adore green fruits and would love to become more strong, even though I'm still not much of a fighter. Uh, I should probably save all that for later, right? Then, um, are you hoping to go somewhere? I'm pretty familiar with these parts, so I can show you the way! Okay. Um, oh, she has become your companion. Uh, when she uses her element skill, she will enter a Night Soul's Blessing and summon Turbo Twirly to fight alongside her. If the whole mode of her elemental skill is used, she, or she uses it while Turbo Twirly is on the field, she will ride Turbo Twirly and gain the ability to move and climb quickly. Additionally, when you switch to Kashima while climbing, sprinting, or while in midair, Kashima immediately hop on Drobo Trail as she takes the field. The ability known as Night Soul Transmission can only be used in areas within Natalan where uh, flagstone mechanics are present. Um, okay, I don't expect hard fights right now, so let's take. Uh, well, actually, I'm using her for fast movement, so I can keep Jean Lee around for a little while longer. Wow! I can join the team? But I'll probably swap him once I get to uh, Statue of the Seven. Okay, so. 
Anything useful? Oh, come on. I don't even know what she needs. Um, defense. Defense. Okay, so... Artifacts. Uh, what was before defense? Defense percentage. Defense percentage. Get a marker the one, no? Okay, defense percentage, defense percentage. No, ah. Then, oh, I won't remember. This one's good for HP. What was good for defense? Attack, attack. I don't remember what was good for defense. I never used something good for defense. What does no Noel usually have? Pistol damage. Defense. I don't know if I'll have many of those. I'm not sure she has a shield. It will make sense, like other Geo, but I'm not sure. Okay, let's do that for now. Defense, defense percentage, and I don't know what else. Okay, that works. Just so she has something. Where do oh. How far can she go? I'm running low on money. Okay, I can't already upgrade her. Uh, and that's very important. Perfect, made for her. Um. What does she has? Normal attack, terrible trilly. Uh, that gets serious. Uh, use your effect. Shield damage. Shield damage, shield damage. But based on defense. Yeah, goes. Shield damage bonus. Damage priest. Uh, yeah, okay, not gonna read all that now, but this is. This has new. Oh, good. That'll be good. Alright, she's just really weak right now. Uh, let's swap that as well. What do I have here? Uh, any of those have defense? No, hang on. I was actually looking in the wrong spot. Defense. Oh, I got one of those from the event. Okay, that's probably for her. Alright. Uh, do I have anything? Oh, good. From the bonus. Uh, the online event. Okay. That's what I have for now. You want to go next? If you'd like to see Liu as tourist spot. Uh. Okay, but I spend that. And now I have to find somewhere that I can recover it. Uh, okay, let me see. The thing I just did where was that? Wow! I can join the okay, team. Okay, it was just that. 
Okay, I thought maybe this was an event or something. It wasn't the prerequisite like the level two or of that. The act two. This is act one. Yeah. Uh, is involved. Damn it! Why get in the way of other stuff? Okay, so I'm not supposed to just go there, right? Uh, okay, so that's what we're doing, not the other one. I was watching the things. Does that thing like work with electronics? Okay. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, they all kind of start the same. Wait, no. Yeah, okay, they started. Not much. I think the other guy was cooler. I can do it. No, I can't. I can do it. Oh, I... <laughs> it's fine. I can definitely do it. Hello? Right. <laughs> the animation was starting. That second guy, that clip was something harder to plot. Ah, wow. Oh, and the no voiceovers. As it turns out, the children of Echo shriek and dance. From another thought, the human body could perform the motions they did on stage. The rhythmic muse, the exciting fireworks, all of that combined brings a totally different vibe from anything you've seen so far. Well, sis, radiant sir, uh, Paimon was the one saying, and your wall warbling floating doll too. Uh, sharp senses and distinguished too. Yes, I'm sure you have what it takes to be the vanguard of avant-garde, and a raising star amongst graffiti artists. Uh, I didn't thought you would actually call those graffiti here, but okay. So, how about it? Wanna join me? The Dopey Dazzler. I'm grasping the latest and greatest in training artistic thought. Wow, and here comes another person with a nickname. Wow, you really do wow a lot. Uh, you are not being the wow webber's allegations. Don't even try to change the subject. This isn't about the wow factor or silly nickname. The important part is that this girl was. Uh, is what this girl was talking about. Avant garde thought. Is that the key to not lose artistic uniqueness? Uh, there you go, very perceptive. As you can see, the vibrant faces, the productive muse, the vivid graffiti, all of this has deep connections to the avant garde. 
fashion, strange, novelty to us, these are synonymous with pop avant-garde. As for me, the top of Dazzler, mainstay of the Graffiti Alliance, I am trying to encourage a greater understanding of such forward thinking, first not only in the world, say one of the people that never travel out of their nation, the way art will constantly evolve and works of extraordinary aesthetic value may be produced ever upwards and all for large scale graffiti work. I don't quite get it, it seems a bit abstract. A uh, more specific example then, see the large work of graffiti in the stage backdrop. I was involved in drawing that. In the backdrop was a realistic landscape painting, a fine oil painting from Fontaine or mural from Sumeru. Do you think it would still fit? Mm, okay, that's pretty straightforward, I don't get it now. So if the backdrop's pattern and colors weren't as explosive, it would feel less energetic. Of course, I wouldn't claim that landscape oil or wall paintings are bad, but when you need to emphasize vivid tension in burning soul, there's nothing quite like graffiti. If you ask me, every tribe here in Netherlands has the impulse to strive even higher, the desire to pursue strength, and that's what why avant-garde is our primary style. No, you call yourself dope, but you're pretty knowledgeable, aren't you? Are you going to take us on as students? What's your early rate? Whoa, whoa, an old hand at uh, this song and then sorry. Don't worry, I'm not too fussed about all that master student stuff and I don't care about fortune or fame either. What we do here is share our experiences in the hope that they will bloom and bear fruit everywhere. As long as you can grasp the essence of avant-garde and create the inspired works of graffiti required, I'm satisfied. In fact, I'd even caught up as much more material as it took to help you grow into a graffiti master. And then you can help me with sketches, me sketches, mm. so how you get your hands on your assistants. You can also help me promote this art elsewhere and attract more talents to our, our alliance. After all, our goal is to create unparalleled avant-garde work on every mountain. Currently, though, we number at just over 10 people, and that's just not going to hack it. My back and waist, uh, if I had to carry dice and paints all day, my bones would be left crooked. And my shoulders uh, and thighs are messed too, no doubt. I was going to say that there seems to be something fishy about all this. But since you're being so honest, guess we can't be anything too off here. And you know, in us learning graffiti art doesn't sound so bad. We could probably draw something to mark our territory and scarf monsters and baddies. Uh, yes, that's the spirit. In that case, let's get to it. Now, our work isn't too strict about painting skills, it's all about the mindset. Let us begin, therefore, by taking the measure of avant-garde. The measure? You mean the principles? Close enough. In short, we need to find the inspiration to break out of our constraints and express ourselves freely. Once you have done this, you will be able to seize upon the scenery even amidst a speedrun challenge and discover the limits of human movement in the midst of close car combat. Just as I do, the way you discover the exaggerated line work you need for graffiti. As for color schemes, we make use of combinations found in the natural world. Um, you'd be surprised how many surprises it has in store. This sounds familiar, but there's something a bit off observing lines of motion like while racing fighting, collecting materials and studying colors. Those matters of studying aesthetics really are kind of different, guess that's not one for you. Anyway, take this guidebook and this camera and go forth through how not one. Might as well enjoy the unique sights and sounds while you learn, huh? 
and once you're back, I'll use what you've seen and heard to help come up with an upper guard philosophy you can best understand. Oh, that's the event. Oh. Ah, that's the event. Yeah, I didn't thought this was the event. I. No, I don't want to start that up yet. Damn it, there's too much thing going on here. But I can. Now I can continue the main quest. Which was right there. Just show me that. Many of our tribes people love music and dance. They have an amazing sense of rhythm. In the past, outlanders have come here just to study our culture and exchange views. My parents wanted me to learn dance, but I wanted to become a warrior instead. adventures together, but he also has a Saurian family and a place to stay of his own. Sometimes he even brings his entire family over to eat at our house. The children of Echoes have the closest ties to the Tepetli Saurs, which are naturally very friendly to humans. That's how our relationship became what it is today. All Saurians have their own personalities, but I think calling them our companions pretty much sums it up. <laughs> See? Ayo agrees with me. <sighs> oh! <laughs> You're here too! No way! You have a soaring companion too! Oh, what a sweet little thing! I think your friend here will get along with Ayo just fine. Alright, you two go have fun. I've got some important business to handle, and then I'll be right back. No mischief, okay? And you better not go leading your new friend astray, or I'm telling your parents. Ooh, that's a rock there. This is the most cherished and most sacred item in our tribe. 
It symbolizes the Wyab that protects us and grants us blessings. Wyab? Is that a god of some sort? Sort of? We believe the Wyab dwell beneath the earth, while the Pyro Archon hails from above. We hold regular gatherings here, actually. Our chief recounts and interprets dreams relating to our Wyab to decipher its will. The Wyab know the past and can foresee the future. Isn't that extraordinary? Huh. Kachina, what are you doing here? Chief! Oh, let me introduce you. This is Pakal, the chief of our tribe. Chief, these two just arrived in Natlin. They're super accomplished adventurers, and they're letting me stick by them so I can learn a thing or two. <laughs> Did he like this? Well. Uh. uh hello. Kachina is a child of our tribe. Her safety is my responsibility, so I'll just come out and say it. I don't know how you met her, but I'm gonna need you to prove your identity. Whoa, 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 whoa! There's no need for that, Chief! They're good people! I can feel it! A feeling isn't going to satisfy your parents, Kachina. It's a valid concern, I get it. Yeah, she is a child and she's just taking along with two strangers. Yeah. How that's that is. Oh, we yeah. show you our adventurer handbook. It's where all our previous travels are recorded. Yeah. Hmm. The people who belong to the Adventurers Guild are kind of a mixed bag. Mixed bag. I prefer something more reliable. Hmm. Huh. You're the traveler, and your Paimon is familiar. Yeah, my Paimon familiar. Paimon is a guide. Jeez, these rumors are getting out of control. Well, okay, maybe this one's not that bad. It does make you seem super powerful and mysterious, Traveler. Yeah. Wait, You're is there something special about creepy. those names? You haven't heard? Nope. Hmm. <laughs> Learn well from him, Kachina. It's unlikely you've ever had a teacher of greater merit. Really? Okay, that was to easy. Earn that kind of praise from the chief. You guys must be even stronger than I thought. Apologies for not trusting your word. Oh, don't worry about it. You were just doing your duty. Well, Kachina's still young, so you can never be too careful. As for you, Kachina, isn't registration about to close? Why haven't you headed out yet? Don't worry, Chief. I told my teammates to go ahead. I'll catch up with them in a bit. Mm. I may not be much of a fighter, but I am quick on my feet. <laughs> Kachina's trying not to worry him, huh? Yeah, I see. Maybe well, I, I hope I wasn't interrupting Sorry. anything just now. If I did, just tell me where you left off, and I might be able to help with the explanations. Let me think. I told them about the Wyab, so now's the perfect time to dive into ancient names. Good thing you're here, Chief. I don't think I could explain it very well. Oh, right! That word kept popping up in our conversation earlier. So what does it mean exactly? Well, Natlan is a nation of heroes whose valiant deeds are preserved and passed down over time in the form of stories. You can think of an ancient name almost like a label for these stories. By mentioning an ancient name, we remind ourselves of the epic sagas of heroes past. For example, the most famous bearer of my ancient name fought in 27 Night Warden Wars. By the time he fought in his last one, he was already over 60 years old. Even though he wasn't quite where he used to be physically speaking, he still managed to achieve top rankings during the pilgrimage. Impressive, right? So why do people inherit ancient names? Ancient names allow us to preserve the stories of the past, but they're also much more than that. Think of an ancient name almost like an heirloom passed down from generation to generation. Do you have your stone on you, Kachina? Of course! Here, take a look! 
Whoa, that black stone looks so mysterious. It's like there's something shiny inside it. Looks like a better. Yeah, but how did she inherit it? It's from family. So ancient names like a surname. The Wyab decide who is deserving of inheriting an uh. ancient name. Once a successor is selected, the name becomes theirs to bear, and their deeds are then preserved within it. As time passes, ancient names come to represent the heroic deeds of more and more bearers, and their value becomes even more profound. In turn, the accomplishments preserved within it serve as an inspiration for the next generation of successors. Just like me! <laughs> I'm still not sure why our Wyab chose me of all people. But if I didn't know the stories of all the past heroes, how they never stopped fighting, I probably would have given up a long time ago. So it's like a form of Mayho Force dudes. Then you're saying this stone doesn't have any actual power? Like it's not gonna make Paimon super strong or smart? None at all. And that is precisely how it exercises its unique value. Think of it this way. If you become a hero because the heavens granted you strength, are your triumphs earned or given? You have oh, a Paimon gets it! If people start to ask those kinds of questions, the stories suddenly become a lot less inspirational. Someone had this to say about ancient names. <clears throat> Our forebearers carved miracles into obsidian rock. Yet future bearers looked upon them and saw strength. The miracles of the past become the motivations of the present. The limitations of the past become the breakthroughs of today. That's more or less the gist of it. So there's no rush, Kachina. Many people struggle to understand the Wyab's judgment after receiving an ancient name. As long as you never stop trying to improve your abilities and surpass yourself, your time will come. Thank you, Chief. I'll get it together, just you watch. Well, it's getting late. I've got to get to the Stadium of the Sacred Flame. Oh, uh, right. I'm not sure where you're headed, but mind taking a detour with me? Is that where the pilgrimage is taking place? Yep. And outside of competition season, it's the place where our intertribal gatherings are held. Will the Par Archon be there? Of course! She's the most important figure in the entire event! Sounds like a plan then. Let's go! Well, if the Traveler and Paimon are with you, then I don't need to worry about your safety. Be on your way now. Alright, we're off! See you later, Chief! <sighs> I got so carried away just now, I didn't consider what would happen if our destinations were different. Luckily, that's not the case. Or, well, I guess we just have to meet up after the tournament. You sure it's okay you didn't tell the chief about your team? <sighs> chief Pakal's a really nice guy. If he knew the truth, <laughs> he might even ask to join me. But... He's not as young as he used to be, and he's got some old injuries that still bother him. He's not cut out for any more attempts. He'll find out what really happened when he sees me compete. I'm sure I'll get an earful for lying, but this is for the best. You're a very considerate person. Yeah, your teammates left you high and dry and you made sure they didn't feel guilty about it. It's not their fault, really. The pilgrimage is extremely important to the people of Natlan. We all grow up listening to stories about the heroes of the past and dream of becoming warriors with the strength to defend our nation. Not out of a selfish desire for glory, but to lend our strength to a greater cause. Anyway, don't worry about it for now. Once you witness the spectacle for yourself, maybe it'll all start to make more sense. It'll also be a great opportunity to experience our culture and history. Alright, time to leave our settlement. Let's head that way. Our last stop, the Statue of the Seven, is also mm. in that direction. Let's go!
Damn, that shit's done. Beautiful, effortlessly confident, and absolutely awesome! Oh, since we're here, you might as well go get your shiny new elemental powers, Traveler! That's true. Huh? You can get elemental power from the Statue of the Seven? Oh, just you watch, Kachina! I think that's the first they tell somebody about that. I mean, people know that he can use elemental power, but I don't think he ever told anybody that he gets from the statue of the seven. Mm. Huh. Ah, that's probably from uh, from the event. Yeah. Hmm. That's uh boss. Uh. That's not right. Is the statue asleep or something? Huh? I thought I had to change to him, don't I? To actually get... Yeah. I don't say anything. Huh. Shouldn't you <coughs> be able to shoot fireballs or summon flame pillars by now? Nothing happens. I don't say any elemental energy either. Strange. Must be something unique to Natland. Yeah, the first time there's somebody Sorry, around... Sorry, Kachina. We got your hopes up for nothing. No, no, it's all right. If anything, I'm even more curious now. Were you really able to gain elemental powers just by touching the Statue of the Seven? That's something only Vision Bearers can use. Uh, yeah, on the story, he can change a wheel now, right? Between the powers he got already, he got before. Yep, it's always been the way. Uh, still not too clear on how or why though. C could you show me? Only if you want to, I mean. No pressure. Sure. Take it away, traveler! Oh yeah, he just changed a wheel. The trailer should be much more famous because of that. Nope. Still just Geo. Anyway, I was right. You really are something special. Just wait until you hear about our previous adventures. Whoa! What's that? Huh? Reminds me of our time most that there's something huge in the sky. I had already made the connection, Traveler. You don't have to imitate her. Oh, before I forget, we've got a pretty long trek ahead of us, so here, take this. They look like shiny little gems, don't they? Don't be fooled though. <laughs> it's actually candy. My mom made them. I always bring a few when I know I'm gonna be out and about for a while. A little boost of sugar can really come in handy in a pinch. Woo! Paimon loves candy, thanks! That's very generous of you. My pleasure, my pleasure! I've got all sorts of bits and bobs on me. I'm sure they'll come in handy at some point. Uh, shouldn't we tell your parents about stuff? 
that you're going with us and stuff. We need to left our uh, Saurians behind. Just what will we come across this time? Hmm, resonate. Gonna resonate with Pyro. Okay, that's probably what will happen if I just came here avoiding the quest and stuff. Mm. More stamina. Uh, max stamina reached. Oh. But our stamina isn't like. Yeah, our stamina is just starting a, a third a wheel, a third bar. In the flow through form challenge within Children of Apple's territory, you must collect as many challenge coins and orbs as great as possible in the time limit. And the other is through the ground. Okay, if I'm solid. Okay, we read that. Ah, young Kassaros gives their tongue to our the objects. Alright. Yeah, it's probably that. No. Halbert Crestbird. Among the painted peaks added to the archive. Mm. Uh, is that where the pillar would be here? No, there's some other glowing stuff. Ah, I can fight that one. Oh, I can fight you. I can fight you, but I can possess you at any time. Huh. Are they naturally uh, friendly to humans, as they said? Let's check on those big guys. Oh, what? Ah, okay, okay. It's part of the event. No, I don't care about the event. The event's getting in the way of the new area. Ah, I can't climb you. Ah, oh, it was made for it! <laughs> Come on! Exactly, okay. Yeah, I don't want you to grab stuff along the way. Um, I'll check for those things once I'm uh, exploring the map and checking things off. Okay, nothing really. Huh? What? One moment, friends. You having trouble there? Friends. Oh. What's that? Is that. Oh. I didn't pay attention. Was there a word quest on the map or something? 
Excuse me, you two are travelers from behind these lanes, yes? Um, sorry, but this little... Uh, the petlisaur is your companion? Uh, even got a little scarf tied to his tail. I see. Uh, sure is a little bottle of energy. Yeah, I could have skipped him back there. I could have skipped him back there. And then... She wouldn't say anything about it. Yep, this is Turtle Dial. We met as soon as we arrived in Athlon. And he's been traveling with us since. Traveling together, are you? Uh, well, then forgive me for being presumptuous. What kind of behavior? That kind of behavior is dangerous indeed. Don't you get a real sorry, you mean? Don't worry, I've been careful not to get. At, not to get that. Uh, I don't know what's the word supposed to be. I've been careful not to get eaten, but there should be an A. Humans and stars living together is pretty normal here, isn't it? I do mean traveling is dangerous, and so turtle that shouldn't wander off too far. Huh? Not exactly. Travel is good for stars and humans alike, but if you forgive my bluntness, turtle diet here is quite different. Sorry, all this talk and I haven't even introduced myself. Manku is the name. I am a researcher of the Saurian Relics Association and I am responsible for scholarly inquiries into certain tribal customs. That sounded like an event quest. Simply put, I study past tribal customs. And of course, I've heard of you, of our little tablet source name. Uh, may I have Yours too. Paimon's Paimon, the Xenos. Wow. Ah, such energy. Looks like Inus and Paimon have been taking good care of you. Huh? Of course you have. We feasted a ton of... We feasted a ton of time together, haven't we, Turtle Dial? How long have we been together? Uh, hey, Turtle Dial, don't go wandering off. Uh, Shane, he's such a vigorous little one too. So what's the danger exactly? Might or tone, would you? My apologies. Eloquence is not my strong suit, but I really do think it is a shame. Alright, I'll be forced, right? You must have seen many little tablet stars before, yes? Your life is different from them. Yeah, he has a beautiful ribbon on his tail. You mean the red mark on his horn? That is not a mark that an ordinary sergeant would bear. In truth, records indicate this to be the Flame Lord's blessing. Shu... Shu Quattle. How to put it? Sergeants with this mark often possess incredible powers such as greater strength than other sergeants, swifter swimming speed, and are being able to leap greater heights. That sounds like a perk to me. But as I said before, this is a blessing from the Flame Lord and not their own power. This is the power of far more ancient dragons, and Nathosaurus can no longer stand it today. <laughs> and the Wild and the Night Kingdom also reject this power, and as such refuse to accept such Saurians. So it's good that he is with me and not with them. And in the process of growing, they will sometimes be killed by this power, or drive him mad by it, both dangerous possibilities. Perhaps, I believe, you should deliver him to the children of Echoes, they will deal with the matter appropriately. Deal with the matter, the phrasing is ice cold. Again, apologies for my clumsy words, but I believe it best to leave this to us locals. Thanks for letting me know. We do not intend to give up on him, I presume. Give it up should never be the first resort. I do not abandon my companions. Alright, very well, Lander. Your resolve is evident. I do not know if I should reveal this to you, for this is a secret that only we locals know. But if you wish to save the turtle dial, you must take him on a pilgrimage to the volcano and toss him aside. 
Legend has it that our tribal warriors could carry a token that was split in two and in the great volcano they would wash, wash the name of their companions as remembered by the falling dragon Shukuaro. Okay, so Shukuaro is probably the name of the ancient dragon from of Pyro. Uh, then they would gain their Saurian the Night Kingdom's acceptance once more. Why are you telling me this? Because the people of the six great tribes no longer attempt this, nor have they the time to spare for such a tempt. But you are an outlander, a traveler from afar, unbound by the old fashioned ideas of tribes of hope the tribes hold. And if you succeed, you will prove beyond doubt that the inscription on some ancient relics in crumbling scrolls remain true to this day. Uh, this is of the utmost importance to me, so if you would like to try, I will help you find that token. And as for you, you will be able to save your companion. Sounds like a win-win. It's worth a shot. In that case, I shall let you know if I find a place. Alternatively, you could come find me. My research would take me near the Children of Echoes for the time being. Until we meet again, then, friends. Sorry, I'm Relics Association member Maku leaves. Hey, hey, Turtle Dial, quit running around already. Oh, and by the way, Ignus, is that guy gone? He didn't say anything weird, did he? Long story short, we'll tell them. Okay. In other words, Turtle Dial is sick and we need to grab some stuff and take him up the volcano to get the illness cured. Mm, yeah, I guess it's more like he's on steroids since he's stronger, and that may be bad for him on long term. <laughs> Not that he seems to understand anything that's going on, of course. Not that it matters. Maybe we'll solve all the problems before he gets big. That way, there'll there will be nothing standing between him and growing up healthy. Will he grow? We will have a Ferrari Gator here. Now, we can't be sure if you can rely on that guy, but if it's a token we need, we can look around too, can't we? Who knows, we might find it even faster. Turtle dial? Mm hmm? you come along too. Mm, the lights get rolling, it's a token we're looking at. I didn't pay attention, but this is what recovered my... Long, long stone. What's that the name? I thought I have some new mineral here, like it had in, uh, like those things around Liyue. Yeah, this is another thing, right? <laughs> oh, was ah, oh, was stale? Yeah, no, that doesn't matter. Ah, this one jumps better. Stone attached to the air. Why would you find me? I'm just another one of you. I can get into the little one. Oh, the little one will find me. Oh no, you won't find me. Okay, I thought. Okay, you're not friendly, but you're not really fighting me. Mm. 
Record Press Issues. See the record press later. Helps to use grappling hook. Ah, uh, molten fissures. Ah, they can go plug stone. That's a blessing. Stay characters. Ah, the characters for Natal can gain usually increase their mobility. Ah, okay, so all of the characters for Natal had that. Uh, yeah, let's. We've come a long way. How does a break sound? Great idea! All this sightseeing is making Paimon hungry. You say that as if you use your stomach to see. Oh, are you all out of candy? I've got some more if you want. I've also got bread, drinks, fried rice, roasted apples. Whoa, you're practically a walking cafeteria! I just like bringing a lot of stuff with me. As my mom always says, it pays to be prepared. They only come in handy every so often. <laughs> but hey, better late than never, right? Huh? Is everything okay, Traveler? Seems like you've got something on your mind. Just thinking about what happened with this Statue of the Seven. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was so weird. It has to mean something, don't you think? Actually, you know what? It could be because our Archon mm -hmm. is different from the rest. How so? Different how? Well, I heard that other nations' Archons live a long time and belong to a class of extremely powerful beings known as gods. Ah, so it's and different to an Archon for a god. that's not the case in Natland? Not at all. Every Pyral Archon in Natlan was an ordinary person before taking on the role. Huh? Over the a others. human serving as an Archon? Is that even possible? Yeah, the other is kind of a, a same to Archon Hood. Uh, yeah, like Farina was a regular one. I'd say Nahida and Ruka Devata were elves, like uh, Klee. Uh, I'm not sure about the Shogun and her sister. Were, they weren't Yokai. Were they human? Because John Lee was uh, Adeptai. And uh, and then he was like a sprite or something. Human ascending to the divine throne. That's kind of like what Farina did, but you find it hard to believe too, huh? So that's not normal then. I guess I've just gotten used to how things are here in Natland. You just said she's different from well, the others. Based on what we've seen, that's not usually how it works. It can't be that easy for a human to become an Archon, right? Pretty sure the Pyro Archon's the only one who can answer that. I do know this, though. Even after becoming the Pyro Archon, the person in the position still grows old and requires rest. The Statue of the Seven may look a lot like our current Archon, but that has to be a coincidence. Countless people have held that title over the years. Oh, I should also mention, the pilgrimage is actually how we select the Pyro Archon. Anyone can claim the title, you just have to prove your strength. So the contest is all about how strong you are. That's right. We believe performance in battle is the most comprehensive test for a future Archon. Plus, when someone emerges victorious, it's hard to argue with the results. Our current Archon achieved an overwhelming victory. The result was obvious from the beginning. Don't just take my word for it, though. Even the tribe elders said they've never seen an Archon with such strength before. But it's just as Chief Pakal said. Today's limits are tomorrow's breakthroughs. Our future Archons will go from strength to strength. 
Okay, Paimon's gonna ignore the whole human becoming an Archon thing for now. It's just... If she's really that strong, do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing for us? If we think back to what happened in Inazuma... I say it depends on how she feels about us. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> Our Archon's a wonderful person and very welcoming to guests. I think you'll get along great. Yeah, you're right. It's not like we're planning on causing trouble either. We're never planning. It just happens. It'll all work out. You'll meet her soon enough. All right, Paimon's just about ready to... Huh? What's that? Oh, we call this a phlogiston chislet. Good things happen if you infuse it with phlogiston. Let me give it a try. Uh, sorry to disappoint, but only people from that land can use that power. I'm special. So, they pass the gnosis to the, <gasps> the next... The one who defeats them in battle. Well, she's from here. So, she could use that anyway. Uh, huh? Well, wait, wait, wait! You can use it too? How? Just came naturally. Oh, no, this work. That was amazing! I don't even know what to say! Lively today. Did the chisel floor you over here? <laughs> Warm, isn't it? Oh, so it was just a friendly Saurian. That's right. There's quite a few of them around here, and Toto's the friendliest and gentlest of the bunch. He's always hanging around these parts. I swear he does it just to show off to any outlanders that might come this way. Don't let his size fool you, though. He's just a big softy. Uh, what does the crouching mean? That's an invitation. He's offering us a ride. Oh, so I can ride them. Don't mind if you do. Um, Paimon's not so sure about this. It's kind of scary, don't you think? He's huge! Or scared of, you can fly. Oh, good point. <laughs> you guys have fun with that then. Paimon will just float alongside. I won't be able to do wow. that, do I? The sightseeing is even better from up here. The higher the vantage point, the better the view. Are you and Toto close, Kachina? Yep. When I was little, my parents and I went to the Stadium of the Sacred Flame to buy a bunch of different fruits, but the cart we were using to transport them flipped over on our way back. Toto wasn't even half his current size back then, but I still burst into tears when I saw him approach. I was afraid he was going to eat all the berries and sunsetias and leave none left for me. In the end, though, he didn't eat a single one, and even chased off a few other Saurians looking to snatch a few for themselves. After that, he used his big head to help get our cart right side up again. I've been bringing him fruit ever since. Oh, and I was the one that named him Toto, actually. With the sheer amount of food he can eat, he pretty much grew like a weed. Before I knew it, he was already this big. Oh, look over there. That's our destination. The Stadium of the Sacred Flame. You can let us off here, Toto. Thanks for the lift. We should be able to climb on those. It's an easy walk from here, yeah. so I say we head the rest of the way on foot. It'd be quite the trek for Toto otherwise. 
That's true, especially considering his size. Well, see you later, Toto! Gang of Packers. Chocolate. Uh, nice to meet I thought this one would be... We belong to someone. Because of the... Uh, backpacks. Hmm. Ah, the other one is right next to it. Ah, let's grab that one then. Then we will get back there. Yes, definitely not. It's definitely off. You can, you still can get a bit far. Uh, what's with this test? Maybe just, uh, I would need some maintenance. That's not just special. Uh, but I totally glowed when you touched it. Uh, come on, Stash. Are you doing your job properly? That one hasn't got a clue. I can climb. I can climb forever easily. Oh, I can double jump. Okay, I just want to unlock more from that. Okay, it's kind of close here. Yeah, we'll have to go through here. No, no, we're good. No, we're good. Over here already. Mm. Let's see how far.
Fruits. Alpaca iced milk. That's smaller. Is that a young alpaca? Young alpaca iced milk. Okay, so I've completed the map here already. Good. They go the springs. Sounds canopy. Chain of Echoes. Okay, so those are the three um uh, uh tribes that we have around. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get there and. And I guess I'll stop after the next cutscene or something. That's faster, but still not that great. Ah, you again? I didn't really want to talk to you, guy. Having trouble there? Okay, if you're not. Alright. Arena of Glory and Triumph added to the archive. Ah, she has an extra bar there. <sighs> we made it! I'm supposed to meet some friends here, but... Huh, I don't see them anywhere. Maybe they're not here yet. Open your eyes, Slowpoke! Ugh, we've been here this entire time! I've already lost track of how long you've kept us waiting! That's... Listen that? here, you. It's not just Kanish and Moolani's time you're wasting, but mine, too! Mine! What the heck? That's a strange-looking Saurian. Or, wait, is it even a Saurian? Take it down a notch, alright? You don't even know some of these people. Just because Kachina's too nice to get mad at you doesn't give you an excuse to be rude to her. And what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> you think you're the boss of... Hey! Oh, what do you think you're doing?! Alright, I've put him in a timeout for now. Sorry about that. Aw, you didn't have to do he that. Has a little Hal just doesn't have much of a filter, that's all. I don't mind. But you what's got what that? you deserved. No explanation. Let's just hope the lesson sticks this time. <laughs> Mulalani, there you are. Looks like you made some new friends. And here I was worried you ran into trouble on your way here. Hello, Paimon's Paimon! I mean, the trailer, I'm here to win it. This is Paimon, nice to meet you all. Yeah, let's just do oh, this time again. This is the traveler. Honestly, you could at least introduce yourself a little, you know. I don't see your teammates with you, Kachina. Where are they? Oh, uh, they went to join teams with a better chance at winning. <laughs> so you're saying you've been ditched? Again. 
That might give them an advantage during the team stage, but it all comes down to individual strength sooner or later. Yeah, well... I couldn't even promise them we would make it through the team stage. The outcome of the team stage usually depends on the ancient name bearer, after all. Hey now... There's not a single person here that can promise their team victory. You're putting too much pressure on yourself. Besides, you're not lacking in strength at all. You just need a bit more confidence. Oh, you she were has only fishes. three victories Congrats. short of reaching the Night Warden Wars last time. Wait, so if the pilgrimage is like a national sporting competition, then what are the Night Warden Wars? The former is a battle of skill. The latter is a real war. A war against our eternal enemy, the Abyss. Oh, good. The enemy of an enemy is my... So they're friend. here too. Well, wait a second. You're saying the prize for winning the pilgrimage is the chance to go to war? That's not too far off. That's why it's called the Night Warden Wars. The pilgrimage chooses the strongest warriors among the tribes and those warriors fight to repel the Abyss in defense of our homeland. Their names and deeds are then recorded in epic tales passed down over time. That is the highest honor you can achieve in Natlan. Isn't dangerous though? Yes, but that's the nature of war. Danger comes with the territory. Resisting the Abyss is our duty. But we're not alone in this fight. We also have the blessing of our Archon, which allows for our safe return. It's something we call the Ode of Resurrection, which hmm? does exactly what it sounds like, basically. Resurrect people, you mean? Yep. So it's not so scary, really. Our Archon's blessing gives us the courage to keep moving forward. Let's go register. We don't have much time. Can we bless someone that is Wait, what about dead? you, Kachina? You're not really planning on competing solo, are you? We really wish we could help, but we're not from here, so it doesn't seem like we can take part. There's no threshold to the number of participants. With the sheer number of teams, it's practically guaranteed chaos. No matter how strong or experienced the warrior, victory is never assured. In a situation like that, it's always better to have someone to watch your back. Oh, how about this? When we register, why don't we ask if these two can have special permission to participate? Okay. Odds are the answer will be no, so if that doesn't work, well... I only have a few teammates this time. If someone else could take them, then... You're not asking me to lead your team, are you? <laughs> Look at you, mind reader. So, what do you say? With how strong you are, it would practically be an upgrade for my teammates. Fine by me, but doesn't that leave you and Kachina as a team of two? <laughs> There's a world of difference between that and flying solo. Besides, we're a formidable duo. I bet our new friends here will agree that two's always better than one, right? Oh, you mean us? Things are definitely less lonely with Paimo out. It's nice having Paimo by my side. <laughs> You're right! Two is definitely better than one! It's just like the old saying we have here in Natlan. No one fights alone. But... What if I drag you down? Listen to yourself. You'd be hard-pressed to find someone in Natlan who can beat us when we're together. <laughs> Hearing you say that does make me feel a little more confident. <sighs> Still... Teams really contain more than one ancient name bearer. People are definitely going to think of us as cowards. The rules don't forbid it, so who cares what they think? It's not like they left us any other option. Well, I'll leave you to break the news to your soon-to-be former teammates. I'm not good at stuff like that. Oh, I know. They deserve to hear it from me anyway. Uh, just give me a second, you guys. We can go sign up together once I'm done. The 
these guys looking shady over there. This is the place. Let's wait for Mulani here. Did you see the flags at the front gate when we entered? No. Oh, yeah. There were flags, weren't there? There were also the symbols on them. Yeah, Those are our like tribal something. flags. One for each of the six tribes that make up Natland, uh, including the children of Echoes. Why the sudden tour guide routine? Because we're new here. <laughs> I'd introduce them to Natlan, and we've got nothing better to do, so I might as well deliver on the promise. Fair enough. <clears throat> well, I'm from the Scions of the Canopy. We live high in the mountains and have the closest ties to the Yumkasaurs. My friend Mualani belongs to the people of the Springs, a seaside tribe. The scenery over there is beautiful, and you can find some really tasty fish. That just leaves the Flower Feather Clan, the Masters of the Nightland, and the Collective of Plenty. If we get a chance after the pilgrimage, I'll be sure to show you around. Well, if we're talking tribes, allow me to stand in for our chief and welcome you on behalf of the people of the Springs. Mulani, you're back! We were just talking about you. Everything settled on my end. My teammates took it unbelievably well, actually. Your reputation is really something else, Kanich. They probably just didn't see any drawbacks to your proposition. We're saying the same thing here. You, my friend, are a formidable competitor, and they recognize that. Anyway, thanks for waiting, you guys. Uh, let's go register. Go with her? Hello there. Here to register for the pilgrimage? That's right. I wanted to ask, though. These two travelers are very interested in the competition. Any chance they could take part? I'm sorry, but only people from Natlan are eligible to participate. You couldn't make an exception just this once? This traveler is a renowned adventurer. He's more than skilled enough to participate. And I'm sure the audience would be interested in seeing what he can do. It's not that simple, Miss Mulani. Even a single exception sets a dangerous precedent for countless interested parties in the future. Oh, the purpose of the manager. pilgrimage is not only to select strong warriors, but also to collect contending fire from the battles. This is the fire that fuels the Sacred Flame. Natlan is only safe from the invasion of the Abyss while the Sacred Flame burns eternal. Oh, so there's another purpose for the tournament. Like the... That was the initial Court purpose, calls. actually. Every participant, whether they win or lose, contributes to the defense of our nation. That's what makes it such an honor to take part. Exactly right, Mr. Kanich. Contending fire can only be produced in battles between people of Natlan. Outlander participation would inhibit the production of this fire, which could in turn jeopardize the sacred flame. Oh. So it all comes down to the contending fire. It's fine. I understand the importance of this thing. Well, you can still enjoy the event from the stands. I'll try to get you some good seats. That would be great! Tourists like us are better suited to being spectators anyway. Now, there's something Paimon was wondering, actually. In the other resurrection exists. Why do you have to go through the process of selecting warriors? Yeah, I wasn't really wondering about that, but yeah, that's a good one. We could just send everybody. You read Paimon's mind, Traveler. Why doesn't everyone just fight together? You know, since you can bring them back to life. The power of resurrection has its limits. For starters, the Ode only works on those who bear an ancient name. That's also why ordinary people who emerge victorious in the pilgrimage aren't sent to fight the Abyss. It's for their own protection. Although, they're still afforded the same honor as those who triumph over the Abyss in battle. That brings us to the other condition for resurrection. Not much to this one, actually. <laughs> Just one word. Victory. Victory? The victors shall burn bright. 
while the losers must turn to ash. Only those who triumph over the abyss earn the right to be revived. Defeat in battle not only means death, but also the destruction of your ancient name, preventing it from ever being inherited again. But then... The tales of the vanquished are eventually forgotten, and an ancient name cannot survive when the stories of its bearers are lost to time. But if you have to win to be resurrected, does that mean most people who win wouldn't die, right? <laughs> so why would the victors need to be res revived? Yeah, they won, right? Isn't it the defeated ones who need reviving? You have to think about it at the team level. For example, five representatives will be sent to repel the abyss this time. Even if four of them were to perish, the Ode of Resurrection would still take effect. All you need is for one person to return victorious. Uh. Because every victory is a building block of our legacy. Of course, the team needs to be strong enough for that to be the case. Otherwise, the price of failure is still very high. That's why the first stage of the pilgrimage is divided into teams. To instill in us the importance of working together. No one fights alone. That is what we believe. A lone warrior is one whose defeat is final. This all sounds pretty dangerous. Well, that axiom is meant to be a warning as much as a source of inspiration. Danger is always present, but together we can move forward, united in the knowledge that behind every hero charging into battle lies the support of all of Natlan as well as our Archon. Not to mention, the Abyss isn't an enemy with a concrete form. We're often just dealing with the fallout of its scheming. I've actually fallen in battle before. I spent some time wandering the realm of the Wyab. It was unlike anything I'd ever experienced before. The realm of the Wyab? Ah, that's Does how that they mean can the Wyab exists somewhere in Natland? Hmm. It's not part of it, but Hard to say. people here. The realm's not somewhere you can access by ordinary means, and very few people are capable of establishing a mental connection with the Wyab. We call this realm the Night Kingdom. A mysterious liminal space between the body and mind, life and death. The fact that you were resurrected at all is the worst thing in the world. Then what releasing you from your timeout has got to come in at a close second. <laughs> you would do well to speak with reverence of the almighty dragon lord Kahula How, <laughs> lest you live to regret it. If you're done arguing, your registration is now complete. Huh. Huh. It all went fairly quickly, considering we all know each other. Now, I just need to register your team members according to their name cards, and you'll be all set. In the meantime, you can all go rest at the hotel. As usual, dinner and lodging for tonight are free. Nice. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. All food and entertainment before tomorrow's matches are on the house, courtesy of our Archon. Family and friends included, which means you both get in on it. Come on, let's go have some fun! Get a good rest, everyone. I wish you all the best in tomorrow's competition. I guess I'll end here. Uh, maybe I'll continue tomorrow. If not, then next week I'll check more stuff. What did I get here? Well, I should really be dense, the Shooter of Echoes. Yeah, I wasn't even looking when that happened. Inner Night Souls Blessings Day 1 day for each seconds. Okay. Uh, he is incredibly distinctive. That's when I turn into Sorium. Uh, what else? Uh, the map? Alright. 
Okay. So now, oh yeah, there's a couple of things here. I got two wishes there, so. Hmm. Yeah, why would I spend on them? They are. They're always here. Let's try to get one Malani. Alright. Let's see if I have that copy here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess that's it. So. Things for us. That's the event that I. Yeah, I have to wait two, two days at least to for that to complete. Mm -hmm. Louis, okay, I'm just. Okay, I have to. I have to avoid that. Ah. I'm trying to do it. Ah, okay. I oh, know. I thought maybe it was the guy from the Kuhua clan. But no. Alright, but I'm off now.